this is Crypto Lights here back with another video, guys. I want to start by wishing everybody a happy new year. I hope you guys have got, you know, great plans and great things to come for this new year by the grace of God. All right, guys, but well, I want to talk about NFT Worlds, which is a project that I'm super bullish on in 2022. I'm hoping we can get some massive gains out of these tokens. We're going to take a look at a few things like some of the NFTs and they also have a token called WRLD, which is the world token. So let's get into this video. NFT Worlds is a Minecraft compatible NFT. Now these NFTs were available for Mint for free when they first came out. Now you can see the floor price is 2.5 Ethereum. So this one I really like. I don't own any of the NFTs at the moment, but I am considering getting one of these NFTs. I'll probably have to sell one or two of my own NFTs to get into this if I did do that. I really like this one and I like the potential for growth on this each of these worlds if you look into the detail uh, there's lots of information connected to them i'm not sure how this thing works because i'm not a developer or anything like that but i could show you some examples of what it looks like when you actually do own one of these worlds so these are um or this is one of the founders at least uh, this guy arcdev and this is some of the um footage that i got from one of the amas and you can actually walk around these worlds you can play on these worlds uh, this thing is built on top of Minecraft, so it's Minecraft compatible as well. You could explore, build on it and all that sort of stuff. I know there's an example of somebody who built a city on it already and you can also go and buy that NFT and you will own that city and then you can, you know, host events or, you know, have meetings and do all that sort of stuff. Okay, guys, so obviously lots to look at, uh, lots to think about when it comes to something like this. So the world token is looking bullish, in my opinion. Uh, it came out of the gate just a few days ago on the 28th of December, and now we're starting to get some movement. Total market cap says about 4 million um, at the time of recording this video. It is on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, but the metrics are not on here yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, you know, total supply, circulating supply, all that information, okay, guys. Now, the chart looks uh, pretty bullish to me. Very low in liquidity. I can see this, you know, getting a lot of traction, especially when a lot more people start talking about this token. The liquidity is decent enough. It's not too high or too low. I think we can definitely get some, you know, volatile price action to the upside out of this token. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we can achieve with that. So each NFT world, it says, is an explorable limitless world that can be built into anything you can imagine minecraft compatible massively multiplayer developer apis decentralized and more each world is unique and one of a kind it's got some geographical attributes so from the tallest mountains to the deepest oceans each world shows statistics about its natural formations and as you can see down here you've got the land area water area dirt soil oil metals all that sort of stuff that you can see going on beneath the surface as well you know whether that's going to make the land more more valuable or whatever i'm sure it will so we've got a road map as you can see lots of these uh, boxes have been ticked off already but currently in progress for global multiplayer support you've got your world manager over here you can connect your wallet and um, if you do um, own an NFT, this is where you're going to start working on it. You can walk around it and stuff like that. It should give you an option to connect your wallet. So when you connect your wallet, you'll be able to see the NFTs that you own, that you've bought potentially on OpenSea. And then you can then explore those worlds, uh, begin to build on those worlds and manage your world, uh, you know, you know, however you want to do it and so on. All right, guys. So I think this one's a really good project. You know, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else they've got in the pipeline. I know they're going to be ramping up the market marketing uh, soon as well i think you should definitely check this out don't sleep on this one it is an erc20 token not available on the binance smart chain polygon or anything like that i'm not sure if they've got further integrations coming down the line as well but yeah nft worlds super bullish i mean there are a few um different versions of the chart when you type in world as long as you are using the correct contract address i've got a few pairings here um you know you should be all right okay guys they're on a few exchanges already uniswap mexc exchange dodo and this zt over here so mexc is a very popular exchange nowadays we're seeing a lot of uh you know top tokens getting listed on mexc exchange so good to see that they're also listed on there um let's see what other exchanges we can get down the road now i called sandbox before you know i looked at sandbox and when i saw sandbox I, I thought it would be big just for the simple fact that it had that minecraft vibe it was like a minecraft on the blockchain i'm calling the same thing with nft worlds for the simple fact you know the graphics and all that sort of stuff it reminds me of sandbox it also reminds me of course of minecraft first of all 
the developers have experience building on Minecraft. So that's one of the reasons that I'm bullish on this. You know, they know what they're doing and the Minecraft crowd, there's definitely a potential for them to come into this as well. So for me, I'm looking at this like a cross between Sandbox and Minecraft, merging the two together, coming up with NFT worlds. Obviously there's a lot more land space available as well. Um, Cause as far as I'm aware, um, what I've seen the devs talking about in an AMA is that, you know, each piece of this land is larger than the whole entire sandbox themselves. And there's 10,000 pieces of this land. So, I mean, you know, this is, you know, more than 10,000 times bigger than sandbox in terms of land space. Right, guys? So, you know, you can do what you want with that information. I'm bullish on this and, you know, I'm interested to see where this can go. All right, guys. So if you want to look, if you want to read uh, and check up on all the details, it explains all you need to know, like what is world, what's it used for, and so on. And uh, just for the sake of the video, the world token, the WYLD, is going to be used for all the uh, in-game uh, interactions, uh, all the transactions. It's going to be the primary medium of exchange. Uh, in the whole ecosystem okay guys so obviously you know that makes the token worth something straight away getting in early i think you're going to benefit from this in the long run especially when we're looking for those 10x 100x plays in 2022 this is something that's super early the world token for me super bullish and you know i've got my i've got my tokens and i'm happy with the bag that i've got at the moment so of course as you can see there's a lot more to know about the token of course you guys will want to do your own research we're going back to minecraft so it explains why they chose minecraft to build on top of okay guys uh, for them it's a familiar set of game controls because they have you know they've got uh, experience building on this platform it's got cross-platform support pc xbox playstation nintendo switch so you know endless possibilities in terms of uh, bridging server bridging systems and so on powerful world building tools and so on all right guys so lots of information for you to check up on there which makes me super bullish on this project all right guys but i do encourage you to do your own research i can't give you everything in one video but if we're going just on the token all right guys i'm bullish on the token for the in-game utility we're going for the nfts i'm bullish on the nfts for the simple fact that, you know, there's lots of land space and I've been, uh, you know, increasingly interested in picking up land in the metaverse, all right, guys? So this is definitely one I think is going to grow over time. There's a lot of potential for this. This could be, you know, a massive opportunity for you, in my opinion. And, you know, once more people start talking about this, I think we're going to see some exponential gains out of this particular project. Uh, the devs are pretty, pretty impressive as well. There's a few AMAs and stuff like that. Um, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely hopeful for this project. You'll have to let me know what you think about this in the in the comments, all right, guys. But in 2022, we're going to bring some great content. We're going to find these gems, all right, guys, and we're going to crush it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video and comment down below. Let me know what you think about this project. And I will see you guys in the very next video.